Welcome to Speaking of Schaumburg. I'm Village President L. Larson. In this episode, I'll be talking with Rob Palekis and Jay Flynn about the Screen Test Student Fest. Then we'll hear from Lucinda Floden and Renee Netzer about the Prairie Center's Icing on the Cake event. And we'll close out the program by speaking with Roxanne Benvenuti and Larry and Renee Netzer about the upcoming Volunteer of the Year event. All of this and more today on Speaking of Schaumburg. This month, the area's most talented young filmmakers will have a chance to showcase their work at the Prairie Center's Screen Test Student Fest. Here to tell us about the event are uh, event coordinators Rob Plekis and Jay Flynn. Well, welcome to Speaking of Schaumburg. Thanks for having yeah, us. Rob and Jay. Well, tell, tell where does it come here. from? A little background. I know you've, you've told us before how, how this all came about, but it's a little refresher course Well, here. it starts with him. Okay. All right, Jay. Uh, back when I was in eighth grade, I sent a letter to the village of Schaumburg requesting a film festival uh, be had. Um, and I, I think I said Schaumburg being the festive town that it is, uh, should have one. Um, so I got a, a response uh, a couple months later. And From whom? This gentleman right here to my left. The, the letter went over to the village manager, Ken Fritz, and he sent it to the Prairie Center. And I said, well, eh. But then it was from the bosses, so I said, oh, I would love to do this festival. And uh, so I got back to Jay, who was, uh, I think, eighth grade or seventh grade at the time? Eighth grade. Anyway, he was, he was much littler oh. back then. So, uh, and sure enough, it, it uh, took off from the first year. Now we're on our sixth uh, um, annual festival. It's a big hit. Where do, where do the kids come from? Well, you know. Everywhere. Uh, we have films that are submitted from, and in the past, and also this year, from Naperville, Bolingbrook, Woodstock, Cary, uh, Chicago, Evanston. So, so this Schaumburg, is, maybe? And, and Schaumburg filmmakers. Yeah, those are the local ones. You know, those come yeah. easily. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but the, the festival itself has now reached out to not just the northwest suburbs, but throughout the Chicago metropolitan area. You have, you have so categories of, of uh, We film? do have categories, and uh, the, the, the films vary. Why Widely vary uh, from from animation to uh, nonfiction, uh, some drama, some comedy. How many categories do you have? So we have six categories. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if all of them will be represented this year, but uh, again, it's it's still going to be a pretty wide. And those six um, categories are. Get ready. What are they? We've got drama. <laughs> drama. Uh, what else? Uh, experimental. Experimental. Uh, nonfiction. Comedy. Animation. That's five. Oh, we only have five categories. <laughs> oh, you just oh, cut. No. Yes, we just, <laughs> just cut one of them. I did huh? cut one. Actually, no, that's not true. We do have a special category this year, um, and it's and it falls under uh, one of the nights of our festival called Team Screen Test. And and on this night, we're going to be shown uh, movies made by groups led by maybe a teacher or a coordinator. So these are going to be team projects. So that would be our so, sixth so, so category. There's, so there's two nights. There's two nights. Okay. So, and right. the first night would be? Uh, it's going to be Friday, uh, April 27th, which will be a uh, team screen test. And the 28th, uh, the next night, will be the actual competition for a uh, screen test. Well, what's the difference here? I don't understand. I mean, what happens, uh, what happens the, on the Friday? Second, the second night will be individual projects. Um, okay. And th that comes from grades uh, 5 through 12. Okay. Um, so right. all those on Saturday. And then Friday will be just the group The projects. team groups. Yeah, the Saturday night competition is, is, our main, is the main event, basically. Okay. And okay. that's where, where, the, where the students are, are fighting. <laughs> fighting. They'll go in the Lyle and start. Uh, they, they will be actually vying for prizes for cash awards. Okay. And what kind of cash um, awards are there? We're looking at some good money, actually. If, you're, if you win grand prize, you can win $250. You can win uh, $150 for second place or other awards for uh, production values, best writing. Uh, and, and so we've had kids take home. You know, if you, if you do really, really well, you can sweep and take home like $500. Have, have so. you found some of these young filmmakers are, are, are win or, or, or award prizes every year or more uh, we, than one year? You know, year? some do come back and uh, do return up in the festival. They don't always win again, uh, but uh, they, do, they do make it in because their quality generally tends to be kind of float near the top. Um, and, and a lot of them do, uh, especially the winners, move on to study film in college. So they, they, they have it in their blood, it's in their DNA, so they keep continuing to make films. As a matter of fact, I, I brought with us a, a clip from one of last year's movies. Oh, I'd love can to we, see can it. Can we take a look uh, at no, it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. This is uh, Kyle Rawlinson. Uh, Kyle did an animated film called Waiting for Time. 
And uh, this, this is a kid who uh, worked with uh, using claymation, and that's, uh, if you ever saw old Gumby cartoons or anything like that, um, you know, so he, he basically moved his figurines little by little, took a few shots, so made a little set. He makes his bed. And he makes his bed, so, um, but it's, it's a really nice piece, and of course there's a little, you know, Look at his crying. A little he, sadness crying there, there, you know. I think he's missing uh, his sweetheart. So it's it's a very sweet piece, and this was this was last year's winner. It took first place in the festival. Um, you know, really nicely done. So, uh, and this year I don't think it'll be any different. We're gonna have some fantastic films. We just received um, all the submissions, and now our judges are going to take take a look at them and uh, just. Who are, you, who are your judges? Uh, we have we have people who are affiliated in the in the uh, film uh, or video production industry uh, around town. Um, we've gotten uh, we have as a matter of fact a couple of people who work here Shane. Uh, Shane and Sean, who work in our video production studio, they have an extensive video and film background. They're going to be judging. This man right here. Jay Flynn. Jay Flynn. The man who started it all is going to be a, is going to be a judge. Uh, we have other people who uh, run blogs and websites uh, pertaining to film that'll be uh, that'll be judging. We have some people from uh, Facets Multimedia, the International Children's Film Festival in Chicago. Uh, so people who, who know what they're talking about. Nice. Besides yeah. judging, Jay, what else do you, do, you, do you do here as far as Screen Fest, Student Fest, or uh, Screen Fest, Student Fest, or? Besides judging? Yeah, sure. Uh, besides judging, um, I put together, uh, I do a lot for uh, marketing and uh, for, for the website. Yeah, and, Jay and runs the, uh, the PR half of it, with the, especially in terms of Facebook. He gets people to sign up. Uh, it's getting a lot of, lot of action, a lot of attention. You know, a lot of people are liking the page. So that's, that's a big thing because most of the filmmakers are on on Facebook. So you designed, a, you designed it the web page, huh? Yeah, I, I try to keep it up to date and uh, yeah. kind of get the word out. Staff it. Okay. So yeah, social networking is definitely a... Are, definitely you, are you still future. going to school? Still going to school, yeah. Where, um, where, where do you go? I'm at uh, Columbia College Chicago and okay. I'm studying uh, technical theater and performing arts management. Oh, what a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of works out. How, how many How many years do you have to go with it? Uh, between one and two. Okay, so okay. Depends on how heavy a course load I want to take. Okay, so. sure, sure. I mentioned uh, this this student fest film test, whatever it is, <laughs> <laughs> is something that that, that kind of lends itself to uh, you know to your expertise. I think. Oh, definitely. What you're, what you're studying, you're able to apply some, see some real practical applications. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, uh, the it definitely helps with uh, with helping coordinate um, the festival with uh, the, the management portion of my major and uh, kind of get the experience early on, which is which is great. Now, how many applicants do you have typically? We, we are running around 30 this year, so we have... Uh, How many did you have last year? Uh, we had just about the same amount, so, and we have only room for about 10 films at the festival, so, so only one in three films submitted make it, which is uh, kind of tight, you know. Do, do you have a time frame within which they have to conform, the, you know, the, the, we, it's going to be three minutes or five minutes or yeah, 10 we or do that. So. All the films have to be 10 minutes or less, okay? okay, and many of them are actually even less than five minutes. I think, I think what we're finding is that, is that, you know, kids want to tell their story in a short amount of time, you know, they just want to, they want to, you know, show a lot of impact, they wanna, make wanna, it short and sweet. They want to get to the point, huh? They want to get... They want to get to the point, and that's what they do. And sometimes when they end, they just end. There's no credit. They're just done. So, but they're fun films. I mean, they really show some some aptitude. They know how to hold. You know, they know how to use their camera, how to frame their shots. Um, it's impressive. Is there a gender it's balance to, to the filmmakers here? Do you, 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 you find it? More and more so, we're finding it to balance out. It used to be, you know, kind of a male-dominated thing where all the guys were doing all the stuff, but but now we're starting to see, you know, uh, young young female filmmakers come out and do some do some really interesting, uh, real interesting stuff. You know, they're doing some comedy animation. Um, so yeah, I think it's a nice balance actually. You said, and there's an, there's an age limit here. You said through high school. Through that high school. That is it. Yeah, we want to keep it young, and I think that's part of the reason we. We, uh, one of the reasons we wanted to keep it in high school is that there are a lot of film festivals for college students, and colleges give a lot of opportunities, not so much for grade school and high school kids. And we want to uh, we want to kind of corner that market to be really the only student film festival open to just high school and, and grade school. So, students. so someone has a film. Yeah. When, when, did, when did they have to apply to you know submit? Well, if they if they're too late now. Okay, but I, you then know, why are we doing this show? So I'll tell you why we're doing this show because if you're making a movie, it's going to take you a long time to make it. You can't do it overnight. So we, we tell them now, start working on next year's project because it's going to be doing a little less than a year from now. And because you have to write the script, you have to cast it, you have to come up with money to shoot it if you need that, get a camera, get a crew. So start now. 
always start now. And then the next thing to do, if you don't start your movie yet, at least come to the festival in April because then you're going to see what other kids are making. That's the important thing. A lot of good so question really, and answer back and forth, too. So, so. absolutely. Yeah. All the filmmakers yeah. get to go up on stage. They introduce their picture, and then they answer audience questions after they show their film. And it's, that, I think that's the most rewarding part of the whole, the whole event. Rob, That's great. So thanks for being thanks here. Thanks for again. having us. Once Appreciate again, Jay, it. good to see you. Don't uh, pick up the cup. <laughs> <laughs> Got yourself a sweet tooth? Then stay tuned to find out about an event that really takes the cake. Next, here on Speaking of Chambers. On April 14th, the Prairie Center Arts Foundation invites you to a unique fundraising event celebrating the community, cake, and art. With us today to talk about icing on the cake are event coordinators Lucinda Floden and Renee Netzer. Well, tell us about this icing on the cake. Obviously, in, 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 we're talking about pastry here, aren't we? We're talking about cakes, right? We're talking about cake. Well, let's, let's hear about it. What, we're talking uh, about cake and dessert. All right. After a long time of not having had any cake and sweets, since a lot of people give that up this time of the year, on the 14th of April. That's next month. That's next month. They're, everyone's going to have an opportunity to come to a great event that raises money for the Prairie Center and is all about cake and actually, dessert. It's, actually, it's this month, if you, you know, but that's okay. They won't know. <laughs> so, okay. so, so, so people, they bake cakes and they bring them to the event? Well, yes and no. Um, it, uh, there's lots of ways to be involved. You can just come to the event, which is going to be at Hyatt, has desserts, it's a dessert reception, lots of wonderful chocolate-covered strawberries and bonbons, wonderful things like that. Or if you want, if you're a baker, you want to just get really creative about it, you can donate a cake to the event that will then be um, auctioned off to raise money for the arts. Ah, or you can bake a cake and submit, can't you? You could bake a cake. You could have a, ba a bakery bake a cake and okay. You could or be the cakes. or cupcakes. cupcakes. You could be the cake. You could be the cake. <laughs> you could be the cake. You could be the bakery and donate a cake. Okay. I mean, right. um, but it's all about cake. Okay. And there's an admission charge, I would assume. It is. It's thirty-five dollars. Okay. Which includes the re well, which includes all of being there except for the cash bar. Oh sure. So, um, but that, it does include the, all the desserts. All desserts and, and, and camaraderie. And, and camaraderie and fun and, and dancing. dancing. Dancing too. We're going to have a DJ. Going to have a cakewalk, is that what? Yes, we are. We're going to have two cakewalks. What is a cakewalk? Sort of like musical chairs, only At it's the for end, cakes. you, win a, you get a cake if you win the cakewalk. How do you win a cakewalk? Well, it's like musical chairs. Remember when you were a kid and you, they put up, okay. if there's a eight of us of going around, they put seven sure. chairs sure. up and the music plays and when the music stops, you have to sit down. And you knock somebody off the chair. And somebody, and boom. It's whoever yes. is sitting ah, in the chair. Okay, all That's right. right. The majority of the chair. Now, how many of these, uh, you know, cake events are you going to have? I mean, cake walks. Have, cake walks, yeah. We're going to have two. We're going to have two during the event. We're going to try to fit two in, but we think we're going to have two. How many people are going to be in the, in the cake walk? Don't know yet. You could have 25, 30 people, right? We could. Oh, we could. Boy, that'd be something, wouldn't that it? Would be, that would be um, a That'd be mayhem. Yeah, it, it would, would be, be total mayhem. Well, do you remember doing this as a kid? It was I sure really do. Fun I remember winning it because, you know, you... <laughs> well, we want to do a few other things, too, oh, so enough. we don't want too many people. Yeah. Don't want too many people. Well, how do you, you know, how do you get involved in a cakewalk, then? I mean, you have, oh. to, you have to know somebody? I mean... No, 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 no. Um, you put a raffle ticket in, and that's what lets you ah. get... That's your, your price of admission. Gambling. Oh, I hope not. I think <laughs> raising I funds. Raising, raising funds. funds. Who's sponsoring this cake event? The Prairie Center Arts Foundation. Well, that, that, that'd be you. That would be me. It would also be Renee, who's on the board of directors. And what does the foundation do? We raise money and awareness for the arts, at specifically at the Prairie Center for the Arts, and yeah. um, and that's what we do. You're and on the foundation support. board. I am on the board of directors. Okay. Okay. Have been for a year. Okay. We support, we support a lot of things, but... Um, uh, the money you raise does support a lot of youth programs, too. Absolutely. Know. We support the youth orchestra and Schomburg Dance Ensemble, Screen yeah. Test, okay. um, our outreach programs into the community. Oh, this is great. You know, how many of these events do you, do you have a year, the foundation? This year we had three. Okay. Um, we always have our celebration event in fall. Oh, That's, sure. That's um, tradition, as it were, to kick off the season and... Uh, 
so, which is in September. So where did the idea for, this, for, the, for the cake event come from? Where, you know. The committee got together and we just started kicking around ideas and this one sounded like something that hasn't been done in the area before okay. and it sounded like it'd be fun so we decided to give it a try. Had somebody done this before? Was it? Well I did it years ago as a presenter of a cake. It was a, you know, it was a little bit different experience but we presented a cake. Um, how does one present a cake? Well, and now, and, here's a cake. Well, exactly. Well, one of the things we're doing for businesses and organizations, if okay. they bring a cake in, they can have five minutes to tell us about their business, okay. why it's important to Schomburg, and why they should win this. Okay. Why their had, cake should be the winner. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. If you had a mascot or a logo, you could bring that in. Just you don't to have to time. be a bakery then to... to, to oh, no. Oh, no, yeah. no yeah. you don't. No. You can, and you can be an individual baker that isn't a bakery mm -hmm. because you just... Uh, make a wonderful cake. So what are you going to do, Renee? I'm going to attend the event. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a baker. Or a but... candlestick maker. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually have made candles, but uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to be working on the silent auction that we're going to be having. Oh, we're right. going to have a small silent auction okay. of different things like a skybox at the Boomers game, uh, a coach purse, some jewelry. Arlington Park. Arlington Park. Since the season, and that'll be right ooh. before the season starts. It'll right. be a good opportunity to um, go out and have some fun during that the summer. Should, that should be fun. Sure. And for and golf for four, oh, nine yes. or eighteen holes at okay. the Schomburg Golf Course. So lots of uh, silent auction. Sounds is like be sounds great. like some nice uh, some nice things. Very nice, nice items are on. No, is this for, for, informal? I mean, it's not a black tie event. Obviously. Oh heavens, no, no. We like you know what? We don't think anybody should be in uncomfortable clothing. Okay. At the same time, it's a party, so it's always fun to dress up and sure, go to a party. Sure. But nobody should get that black tie thing or... No, if somebody the, wanted, wanted tickets, how would they get tickets? They what? would call the box office. That number would be? 847-895-3600. Okay. Or they could go online to www.prairiecenter.org. Okay. If they want to bake a cake, they should call me. <laughs> So that we know that oh, really? so we don't want. Well, I don't want anybody to come and. If they, if they want to bake a cake, you show. show uh, but also, if they if they buy a cake, they want, you want to know how many cakes in it should be. Coming exactly. Yes, we would okay. like to know. I was afraid you were going to ask um, how many cakes we were going to, but we don't know so, that so, yet. Yeah, so if you're going to donate a cake, if you're going to bake a cake, if you're going to, uh, uh, yeah, okay, then sure. you want to make sure you call Lucinda Floden in, in advance. Right? Absolutely, because That'd then be we will save a very special spot. place for your cake, and we'll make a sign, and we'll. You know, put your names in the program and, wow. you know, all those. All that. All those things. <laughs> if you bake a cake, you still, it's still $35 in admission, though, right? Yes. yes. Either way, whether you bake a cake or not. Yes. But, but, but there's plenty of fun, plenty of cake, plenty of food, desserts. Absolutely. And right. plenty of dancing. Okay. And dancing. The dancing, dancing will be fun. Okay. And you have a DJ? Yeah. Yes, we do. It's great. Well. And he's promises is all the... Thank you, Lucinda Floating. You are very welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Thank I appreciate sure. it. Thank you. This month, the Village of Schaumburg will once again recognize the wonderful volunteer efforts of people all over the community. Find out more next, here on Speaking of Schaumburg. Every day, people throughout the community find ways to volunteer their time. And every year, the Village of Schomburg recognizes outstanding individuals for their efforts with our annual Volunteer of the Year event. Here to tell us more about the, the event is Special Events Coordinator Roxanne Benvenuti, along with previous winners Larry and Renee Netzer. Well, welcome once again to Speaking of Schomburg. Yes, here we are again. You've been here before, and you've been here before. As a matter of fact, 20 minutes ago, I think it was. <laughs> yeah, about, yes. Yeah. Tell us about this event. How, how long is it, when it, how did it get started, and, and uh, this how long will, have we had it? This will be our silver anniversary, 25 years. And I, I think it's a truly great thing that, uh, that the Village of Schomburg recognizes volunteers in our community because we've come to depend on them more and more and more. How so? How do we depend upon them? Oh, I, I look forward to volunteers and helping with uh, all of the events here at Schaumburg. Not only Volunteer of the Year, but Prairie Arts Fest, September Fest, okay. Tree Lighting, yeah. um, many things. Well, they serve on our zoning board, our plan commission. They, they hire our, our firefighters and our, and our police officers. A every single board and committee. And we have two of them right here, right? Yes, and these are our 2010 winners. Hey, both of you? Well, I'd like to uh, congratulate all the volunteers. I, like you said, they're uh, all around the city with the park district, many different things. Yeah. It takes a, a lot to be a volunteer. 
What did you guys do to be singled out? <laughs> uh, we volunteer at several different organizations. Seven? I'm, several. Uh, we do... Maybe, uh, maybe seven. But <laughs> maybe seven. Um, we work with the American Cancer Society with the schomburg Hoffman Relay for Life. We do um, Omni Youth Services, which is a organization that works with um, youth in trouble. And we volunteer at the Prairie Center for the Arts. We do ushering, um, consignment, uh, special events. Uh, oh, wow. We're on the special events committee. I'm on the board of directors, so we do a wow. number of different things. Wow. Wow. Our specialty is fundraising. We like to promote the local organizations and do uh, fundraising for that, which is Boy, a imagine, hard thing to do. Imagine those organizations love that. <laughs> yeah, sure Somebody stepping forward and actually wanting to and volunteering to, to fundraise. Yes. I think the bigger question is what they're not involved in. Yeah. <laughs> well. Very good. No, that's 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 marvelous. That's wonderful. So it's wonderful. Were you surprised when when you uh, got the award? Uh, we were surprised first to be nominated. We were the first and only couple to be nominated for the individual award, and we won. And then when we saw the program with all of the great things that everybody, all the other nominees had um, been nominated for, we were like, oh, well, it's a nice event. It's, we get a free lunch out of it. <laughs> and then when they announced our names, we actually just sat there. And then it's like the person that nominated us goes, get up. It's you guys. <laughs> so yeah, we were very surprised. Oh, that's good. That's it was wonderful. A, quite an honor. It was really exciting. Yeah. How many? How many attended last year's event? There's usually around 100, 150 uh, people that actually attend, and then the nominees vary from year to year depending on who is nominated. But there are three categories. There's the uh, individual or some kind. Sometimes <laughs> it's a. Sometimes it's an individual. <laughs> couple, a couple of individuals um, in the adult category, and then there's a youth category uh, and also an organization. So in essence, someone could actually nominate their organization, an adult individual and a youth individual from their group. So who judges? Who, who, where do you get the judges from? Well, I rely on, uh, on a very important person uh, who are <laughs> the the judges? to, who are to the get judges? those judges. What we're looking for them this year. In the past, we've had um, reporters from local newspapers, and pastors from churches and um, people involved in the yeah. different community organizations. Now, my understanding, the same idea job. actually came from the village manager at the time. I think it was George Longmire that, that proposed that we recognize uh, uh, volunteers and, and begin that, that process. Yeah, probably. But, uh, very uh, give be. George a little bit of credit for that. He's not with us anymore. Hey, he's with us. And, <laughs> but he's, he's, not, with, he's with the park district. The yeah, he's yeah. with the park district. Yeah, yeah. Doing great things there, yeah. How long have you been yeah, doing this? So. Yeah. Uh, well, at the village, well, almost 21 years, but this, like 15. What, what, are, what are some of the most notable, you know, uh, things that, that volunteers have done as far as the, the awards are concerned? Can, can you? I'm just glad I'm not a judge because I'm a marshmallow. When I read, <laughs> when I read the nominate, when I read all the nominations, I think, oh my goodness, this person is just involved in doing so many great things. And you think, oh, they're going to have to win. And then you read the next one, and you go, oh, my goodness. <laughs> there's, there's really, so, to I it. hate to single anyone out because there's so many good ones. And I, I actually encourage people that if their nominee didn't win that year, That's that true. they should nominate them again. There's yes, nothing, there, nothing wrong with nominating them. If the person is still with the organization sure. and still doing yeah. great things, why not? Because, you know, we pick one person in each category. Typically, but how many applicants do you have? Oh, I would say anywhere between... 25 and 40 okay. in all, all three groups. Okay. It just takes someone taking a few minutes to, you know, to send a nomination in about okay, the Okay, so what do they do? Where do they, where do they send a the nomination? Who do, they, who do they contact? So, well, we have a website where you can actually uh, nominate somebody online. That started last year. Okay. You can just nominate someone online, or you can email your nomination in, okay. or you can even mail it. You can drop it off <laughs> however you want to get it to us. What about a phone us. number? A phone number? Yes. 847 923 3605 for that information. Would be who? That would be me. Say it one more time. Say it one more time. 847-923-3605. Okay. And the website is prairiecenter.org. Okay. And uh, nominations are uh, due by April 1st. We'll take them through the morning of the 2nd since the 1st is on a Sunday. But sure. we're looking at it's coming up. Okay. That those and the luncheon is where? Due. Luncheon is at Chandler's okay. on Tuesday, April 17th. We always yes. host the event in the middle of April during volunteer okay. week. Okay. That's good. That's good. Uh, do you guys have any ideas to who you're going to nominate for the Volunteer of the Year? I, I, do, uh, I nominated a youth this year. 
yeah. who has done a lot of good work okay. this summer. Oh, that's summer. good. We, we need more youth not nominees. So not only did they win, they took the time to nominate someone else, which and I think it's is great. it's a very easy process. Going yeah. online, sure. fill out two little sections, and you submit. It works really well. Okay. All right. Well, that's great. That's great. I know we, we've got some great volunteers, and we've got some... Some great members of, of, of uh, committees that, that, that submit those those, those names and, and uh, yeah, anyone can. I've had people nominate their neighbor. Yeah. People, uh, you know, from organizations nominate people that have been volunteering for their group for many years. Okay. Well, so. Roxanne, once again, thank you. Renee. <laughs> Larry, thank you, Mayor. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, guys, for being for being here and for all you do. Thank you. That'll do it for this edition of Speaking of Schomburg. Join us again next month for another all new episode. Until then, I'll see you around town.